teaspoon measuring spoon, spatula, knife to cut butter, spoon to mix everything, whisk to whisk the eggs. Your dry ingredients include all-purpose flour, sugar, salt, aluminum-free baking powder, cornmeal, and baking soda. Your wet ingredients, butter, egg, buttermilk. Finally, you're going to need cast iron skillet and a pot to cook your butter in. Let's get started. Let's do our dry ingredients. A half cup of white flour. Three quarter teaspoons of cornmeal. And this is just for flavor. It adds a nice sort of flavor and texture. So this is really important. You want a half of a quarter of a teaspoon. So half of the spoon here of kosher salt. And you can go with the full quarter teaspoon. Um, it adds a nice salty contrast to the maple syrup, but it is a bit extreme. So just, you know, about half of this spoon will do you just fine. So, you, this is really important. If you don't use enough baking powder and baking soda, your pancakes won't rise and they will be these bricks in the pan. This is really important to use the exact right amount of baking um, powder and soda. So we're going to do three quarter teaspoons of baking powder. and three quarter teaspoons of baking soda. One, two, three. Now that all my dry ingredients are assembled, I actually <clears throat> want to pre-mix them with the whisk here. Um, because the less mixing you do, um, when everything is, when the wet and dry ingredients are combined, the better. I'm going to set that aside. Tablespoon of butter melted in the pan. Very low, very, very low heat. And uh, it's, it's very important. Um, that you do the butter first because you don't want to melt the butter and have it cook your eggs because it's so hot. And the reason we combine all the wet ingredients together is that you want them all properly mixed um, <clears throat> so that when they hit the dry ingredients, you do as little uh, mixing as possible and you want those lumps. Uh, and, and you'll see just in a sec what I'm talking about. Out of the pan as quickly as possible. Just let it cool off just a little bit right there. Next, a quarter teaspoon of sugar. Temperature check that butter. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to be cooking any eggs. So I take my little measuring cup here and we're going to use it to hold the egg yolk um, because we only want the egg white in here and uh, that was pretty much disaster right there uh, this is what not to do um, so we got mostly white plop the yolk down in there. So in here we have butter, that little dab of sugar, and egg white. And we want to beat this uh, for maybe 30 seconds, maybe a minute with our whisk. The idea is to get bubbles in here. Uh, this is how you make a meringue. 
and also you see it takes a little while for that sugar to dissolve so it's really good to get the sugar in and I prefer most of my sweetness to come from the maple syrup but uh, just a touch of sugar and I think I think Maddie uses too much way too much sugar so you see got some good frothiness got some good frothiness going on um, in the in the egg white there it's almost almost a meringue uh, if I were to go for about 20 more minutes um, and now I'm gonna add just beat my egg yolk just a touch in here and combine them and then beat them again so that the bubbles stay the key to preserve those bubbles at all cost now one little trick that I like is to actually shake shake my buttermilk Now this, this adds bubbles and frothiness to the buttermilk and makes the pancakes fluffier, but it also throws off the measuring. Um, so we're gonna do one entire cup of shaken buttermilk. That's two of these half cups. Now that my buttermilk is added, whisk again, see how bubbly everything is that is perfect so we have our wet we have our dry take the wet mix plop it on in there and then with as few few folds as possible we're just going to incorporate everything. I want to make sure that all the dry mix on the side so we want a nice chunk of butter and I use my half cup measuring cup and the moment that butter is done melting I take my pancake now look at these holes um, the holes are developing nicely. Um, see my flame is on low. Uh, the pan has been heating for five minutes. Um, if you heat a cast iron skillet too fast, the it, pancake will definitely burn. And it takes a few days, few, even a few weeks to really learn your stove, to learn just how hot to get it. Let's take a little peek. All right, so my bottom's looking uh, maybe about 30 seconds to a minute away from being burnt. And the key indicator I'm looking for, you see those, these holes are holding. I wanna see some holes holding more in the middle of the pancake. Uh, all right, you see you got a hole here. It's really key. Just check the bottom there. All right, that bottom is too. Second more and it's burnt. I can, you can smell it too. But a look at that. That's what that butter does for you. That butter gets that nice, nice crispy flavor. I was a guard manger 
in a James Beard restaurant. So, you know, I have, I have some bones made in the cooking industry and uh, I think butter is the right way to go. So it was about three minutes, three minutes on this side. And uh, we'll do about the same. And then do a little check. Uh, you really want about equal time. And one thing I like to do is just soak up a little of that extra butter. You know, by like using it as a mop, mop in the pan. Uh, another thing is that the butter begins to smoke if you leave it in there uh, too long. And uh, it's really key to get that equal three minutes about on one side and three minutes on the other. Uh, you know, the, the, the forces, the opposing forces is getting the center of the pancake, the inside cooked while not burning, not burning the outside. And uh, numero uno. All right, so the, the pan is actually hotter this time because uh, cast iron really takes a long while to retain heat. It's beautiful at retaining heat. And, and we're seeing some bubblage happen much faster on this pancake. And, and you just have to be aware of this uh, if you're using cast iron. So we wait as, even though we have good bubbles on the outside, uh, we're not having... It's once, see that bubble just reabsorbed right there. Once the bubble holds, that's when you know. Just check the bottom here. Uh, okay. Got about 20, 30 more seconds. Um, and we're just going to flip it. Little, little bam. And uh, not bad for uh, filming, filming a video and cooking a pancake. Look at that nice. Nice uniform golden crust. Only butter does that. Um, and uh, the pan is a little hotter this time, but you you just want that even cooking time, you know, because the heat the heat sort of rises up through the middle of the pancake, and uh, you know, it's it, nobody wants a pancake that's that's not cooked in the middle. So that's why. You really got to know your ingredient ratios. Once you have your ingredient ratios, you sort of get to know, you know, your setup and how how your setup cooks, and um, how to adjust, how to adjust. And look at that. Look at the way that that baby rises. Uh, and you see that. Risen section that it's that's the highest highest risk area of of being undercooked. So we just want to let it go and do our little mopping of the pan to you know get extra extra buttery extra buttery uh, retention just slice off these little guys here. You, you, if these little little bits form, you just want to get them out of the pan if possible uh, because they do contribute to, you know, they get burnt and the, there's a burnt, burnt flavor in the pan and just these little Little things that do matter. Yeah, so you just sort of go uh, until I can't take it anymore. Got a final pancake here. If you really want every last bit, use a 
silicone spatula here just to get every last bit. So um, I complement it with some pre-prepared cantaloupe and oranges that I made. Uh, that's a wrap. Now, if that's not a stack of pancakes, I don't know what is. Vermont maple syrup. Let me get some going on the side there for dippage. So that is my response to Maddie Matheson's pancake recipe. And um, this is the Hunter Report. Uh, I have been doing episodes on uh, sitting is a disease, on knives, bamboo, and entrepreneurship, on how to install a light dimmer. Thank you so much for listening. Thumbs up below. Um, please subscribe. And uh, I'm going to be doing something on Ebola safety tips tomorrow. Um, especially for people living in, in a high density area like New York City. Um, so this is Hunter R. Paris with the Hunter Report and thank you very much. Oh yeah. Have a great day.